Hello and welcome. Let's talk about fracture neck of femur. Now, this is a picture showing fracture of the neck of the femur. And this is an X-ray showing fracture of the neck of the femur. Now, cuts fall on the flexed and rotated hip. Road traffic accident or fall from a height. Now, patient profile age usually 57 decade and sex most pro postmenopausal women. Fracture neck of the femur is common in old people usually after 60 years of age as bone becomes weak by senile osteoporosis and elderly female are predominant but no age is immune. Now classification of the fracture neck of the femur. In relation with the capsule, it may be intracapsular fracture or extracapsular fracture. Intracapsular fracture includes subcapital fracture and trans cervical fracture. Extracapsular fracture includes trochanteric fracture and subtrochanteric fracture. Now, this is intracapsular fracture and this is extracapsular fracture and this is subtrochanteric fracture. Now, classification of the fracture neck of the femur in relation with sides, subcapital, transcervical and basal. Garden classification of the intracapsular fracture of the neck of the femur for the purpose of treatment. Garden type 1 which includes incomplete fracture, type 2 with complete fracture with a displacement, type 3 complete fracture with partial displacement and type 4 complete fracture with full displacement. This is the picture showing garden's classification. This is garden stage 1 with undisplaced incomplete, undisplaced complete, complete fracture, incompletely displaced and this is complete fracture completely displaced. Now clinical features. There is history of trauma with falls on the flexed and rotated hip, rotary accident and fall from a height. Pain in the hip which increases the movements, unable to walk and limb is abducted externally rotated and shortened. Movements of the hip are restricted and painful. Investigation includes x-ray of the pelvis including both hip joints showing fractured neck of the femur. And there is scanning, MRI and routine investigations for general anesthesia. Now treatment. If undisplaced fracture is seen then internal fixation by either uh, hip screw in case of adult or novels in case of children should be done. In case of displaced fracture, for lesser than 40 years, close reduction with internal fixation with hip screw should be done. And lesser than 20 years, close reduction with internal fixation with no spin should be done. In the case of the 65 years or more, accession of the head and replacement by prosthesis should be done. And rest for 12 weeks and exercise should be done where first 3 months will be of non-weight bearing exercise and less, next 3 months will be of weight bearing exercise. Now this is a picture showing the partial hip replacement or total hip replacement in case of the adult with internal fixation or hip compression is in case of different age group. Now complication of the fracture neck of the femur. Local complications include avascular necrosis of the head of femur, non-union and malunion, osteoarthritis at neck of the femur and shortening. General complications include prolonged bed rest causing deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, hypostatic pneumonia, progressive bed sore and nephrothesis with decalcification. End of the topic.